Welcome to Hi Felicia. Hi Felicia. Hi Felicia. What? Say I it. Just say it. I can't get used to that theme song. Sorry. I, I ha- never will. People are hitting me up. I like. I have it in my head. It's so amazing. It's growing on me. Just Great. admit it. Can you admit it? It's not growing on me. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it will never grow on me. All right. Right before we start, right before we hit record, Felicia whispers to me as if we're recording because she loves to whisper and she goes, try not to use the fuck word so much. (laughs) Tell me what you said. I said, try not to use the word fuck so much. All right, I'll try. You know, I'm sorry. I say it a lot. Yeah, you do. You drop a lot of F-bombs, which I love. Oh, you do love. I personally love it. So if you love it, I love it. Why do I? Because is your feedback that I'm dropping too many F-bombs? Yes. The ladies in plain view? The the ladies. Women, ladies. Not not necessarily plain, just ladies. Your Yunta friends in Florida. Yunta friends. (laughs) She's just whispering. All right, so I'm going to try really hard to not drop fuck. So... (laughs) She slams the table. All right. So before we start with our usual, I just want to give um, a heads up that there's going to be potentially spoilers in this episode. And I'm going to now, in the foreseeable future, note down spoilers in the episode notes. So if we talk about something and you haven't seen it yet, just check the time code, just so you guys know. So just so you know, if I talk about spoilers. (laughs) Mom, did you hear that sound effect? It like a toilet. Flush it. It's like splat. Oh, spoiler. Mom, let's start with the news. Big news this week was the Oscar nominations. And maybe we're over it, but let's talk about the snubs. Snub, snub, snub. What do you think about the snubs? I cannot believe they snubbed Greta. Greta, girl. Yeah, that, that, why would they do that? It's like they snubbed Greta and they snubbed Margot. However, Ryan, Ren- Ryan Reynolds? No, mom, it's Ryan Gosling. I'm sorry. Oh, I, get like, the, I get the Ryans mixed up. Oh, my goodness. So here's the thing. Why would he get a nom? That's what, it's I, like I, if he didn't get the nom, it would be fine. For but Barb. Like, for, 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 for Best for, Actor. For, best, yeah, it, for like, Margot Ross. I mean, she didn't get it either. She didn't get it, but he did. Look, the yes. movie got nominated, but- he, him getting the nominated and not Greta for best director or Margot is such like an F you. I'm not going to drop the yes. bomb. Yes, it is. But I got to respect Ryan came out with like a huge statement and he was like, I'm disappointed that they're not, not, you know, he, he went out in like full support of he's, them. He's At, a mensch. He's a Ken. <laughs> it's so fucked. Sorry, mom. It's so fucked up. But it's also, there was a tweet that said, like, no Oscar nomination for Greta Gerwig, no Oscar nomination for Margot Robbie. Ryan Gosling gets an Oscar nomination. This is actually the whole plot of Barbie that the right. men get everything they and fell the women right don't. into it. And I'm also very disappointed that Bradley Cooper did not get nominated for Best Director of Maestro. Did you know that? I'm getting a lot of comments about Maestro that a lot of my friends, my friends, yes, did not people like over it. the age of sixty. Are we now going people over the age of seventy? No, sixty. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of them didn't like it. I don't care. I thought he did a good job, like directing. Maybe directing, but I have to, I haven't watched it yet. By the way, I think you might enjoy it. It's about a Jewish guy. I, it's it's about about a I know, I know, I know. I, I know. enjoyed the movie, and I thought he should have gotten nominated. However, I really heard that they're really focusing on his marriage and his gay life, and how much she covered up or lived with it. True, it's true. It's what happened. So it's he really, was very bisexual, but like, so what? So no, I'm just, get the nom? I guess I guess everybody thought it was going to be about his music yeah, and about it was all, that. all right. It was a little salacious like that. Right, right. You want to hear about another snub that sure. I was? Are you okay? Mm-hmm. She's taking a sip of her cosmopolitan vodka. Another snub because I just watched Killers of the Flower Moon ah. on the plane, and I think Leo deserved a Best Actor nom for this film. Well, and I know you don't love me, Leo, but no, I got not, I, I just, I don't like, I, you know what it is? The subject matter, which is very important. Very, very true story. I know that. I get very sad about what it's we- Messed up. Fuck right. Up. And I, I can, I, it gets me really upset. So I, I prefer not to watch things that get me real. I would rather watch ridiculousness with limbs being cut off. Wow. But the- Movie you're talking about, Killers of the Flower Moon. Killers of the Flower. I, I, it's so, it's real. I will and it say, gets like, me upset. It's three and a half hours. I was dreading <sighs> the watch because it's so long. The only way I could have gone through this was sitting on an airplane. No other distractions. And I really, really 
thoroughly enjoyed it. I was like, wow, this is so much better than I thought. Also, I got to give it up for Leo. Leo is an actor. Whatever role he's in, I don't see Leo. I see the I see the role. Versus somebody like Ben Affleck, all I see is Ben, ben now Affleck, because he's so right. in the public eye. He's right. with Jennifer Lopez. When Ben Affleck is in a movie now, I don't see his character. I see Ben. Right. And it's the reason why certain actors are so like profesh and they remain, like their private lives remain private, like a Natalie Portman. That's never going to happen with Ben Affleck. But that's, that's never going to be private. But that's why I really think Leo got snubbed. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying... Listen, he's a great actor. Such a I'm, good I'm actor. Not, I, like, never, I never said he wasn't a good actor. A good, he's I, a great I know, actor. but you're giving me saying he's schlubby. I just want to give uh, a nod. Okay. And re- let's not forget. How old is he? Uh, Do we know? Leo has got to be- In his 40s. Upper 40s. Upper 40s. And I also want to say, and I was going to talk about Killers of the Flatterman later, but now we're on the subject. Leo, I've had a love for ever since high school when I saw Titanic twice, not once in the theater, twice. And do you remember I had a poster of him on my ceiling? Yes. I did. Yes, you did. He was a love. He was a love. He was adorable when I he was love younger. Leo, 49. He's, he's approaching 50. There you go. And I got to respect the man. He likes the, he likes the women. He likes the models. And look, and Bradley Cooper's now with the model too. It, it didn't, wait, wait. It didn't Bradley Cooper have a kid? Yeah, with, with a model. And they and now, got, now, they, now he's moved on. He moved on. Gigi Next. Hadid. Wow. With another model. Oy, okay. Oy, I know, I know. These hot men with He's the just, models. Yeah, they just, you know, one day when they, like George, Clo- well, George Clooney is special. <laughs> that, he is it. special. He waited for the special he woman. Did. And guess what? He got it. Who's, who's she on life now? She is. She's smart. She's smart. She's beautiful. beautiful. She's active. She's just not. She's asked. Yeah. She's not like, Clarita. she's not an actress. Right. I got to give respect. I uh, So do I. But I also got to give respect for Leo for not dating an actress and being like, Shh, what the, whatever, I don't need to get well, married. I don't need to have kids. I'm just going to do my thing and wear a baseball hat and continue to wear a mask so people don't recognize me. COVID was the best thing for actors because they put that mask on and nobody knows who yeah, they are. Yeah, I agree. It's unbelievable. Including us who have bad skin. <laughs> Side note. Side note. This is like such a random wrinkles, story. But, wrinkles. Oh, okay. I had to tell this random story. Uh, if you're a fan of Shaws of Sunset, I was on the LIR once and Riza was sitting next to me and Casey on the LIR in a mask, okay? And it wasn't like in the time where you had to wear a mask. You know, if you're wearing a mask, you either have COVID or you're famous. And I looked at him. I think Casey like tapped my shoulder and I looked at him and I saw an arm full of Cartier bracelet candy. Just oh, like, a wrist. A wrist. A wrist. Oh. And I was like, that's Riza. And guess what? I obviously spoke to him. Did and you? He, yeah. And he had some issue where he was on the LER. He had to go back to the Hamptons. He left his wallet in the Hamptons. It was like a whole thing. Was, was he nice? Very nice. Oh, okay. Very nice. So more news. Are you ready for this? Yes. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Da-na-na-na. I don't know if you know about this, but I feel like you do because you're very up on your pop culture. Do you know who just announced they're going on tour? Wait, wait. What the, singer? Just, oh, Justin. Justin oh, Timberlake. Timberlake. Right, right, right. He was on Saturday Night Live. No, well, he's going to be on Saturday Night Live tonight as the musical guest with Dakota with, Johnson. Right. He announced right, it right. With, on Jimmy Fallon. Right, right, And right. they did a great segment on Jimmy Fallon with the music. Now- didn't we go see Justin Timberlake we and sure Madison Square Garden? We sure did. It was very, very, very enjoyable. And that's when I became a fan of his, when I saw him perform. It was terrific. So he's playing in Madison Square Garden. Do you want to go? Come on. Let's well, go. You think the show will be as fabulous as Pink's and Queen? Well, that's a big... Justin's great, and he's obviously dropping an album. When is he, he going to be at Madison Square Garden? I think July 25th, I think. Would you want to go with me? Sure. Would you buy the ticket? <sighs> Apparently, the only way I will ever get to a show is by paying for a ticket for Marty, and then she guides me how it's to get. It's really in. an the amazing city, evening. The, yeah, we, we have, have so the much best fun. Time. We do have we a lot the of fun. Time we do. We have but the best time. Me going to the city by myself Never. is 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 really. I think becoming we should do JT, and I got to tell you, I did obviously Britney's audiobook, and Britney is so like traumatized from her experience with Justin Timberlake, and like the drop, the bomb drop about like how he made her get an abortion, and like he. He's not looking so good these days. And do you want to know what the latest is? So his new single is called Selfish. Okay. Okay. Britney's army of fans. Like Taylor Swift has an army of fans. Yeah, 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 yeah. Britney had a song called Selfish from like 2011. And they got it up on the charts above Justin's right now this weekend. Oh, that must have pissed them off. That's insane. Good for her. Good for her people. Well, right. Britney might be like, she's she's dancing along on her gram. She don't give a shit. But, But Justin must be... 
really upset. He must be. All right, but he'll still live fine. I don't feel bad for him. Oh, I definitely don't feel bad I for him. I don't feel bad for any of them, actually. And I predict he'll definitely be in more. It, so he's the musical guest on Saturday Night Live. My prediction, prediction, da, 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 is that he's going to be in at least two sketches, and he better be in a digital short, because I... Well, he's Damn. really. But I he love that really, dick in a box. He really is great, especially when he when he's him and Jimmy Fallon. It must be they're really, besties. They're besties. Oh I don't God. know why, why did I oh make that. God. Why did maybe, I make that up? Maybe Fallon will be. Maybe Fallon will be on Saturday Night Live. Oh, maybe he'll make maybe it. Yeah, maybe Fallon he'll. And JT yeah, yeah, yeah. Putting I bet. It out he, there. I bet. He, I bet he will be putting it out there. All right, we got to move on because there's okay. so much. There's so much going on. Right. Did you hear about the Roadhouse? Yes. Remake? Yes. Yes. So, I did. Which I thought was really bizarre. Who is so? Let's just discuss. 1989. Okay. Patrick Swayze wrote the best. Now, we saw that. And, I love. Hold and on. I loved. You, everyone knows my love for Patrick Swayze. Yeah, love because I saw him in Dirty Dancing. We Obviously. saw that that, right. that that story. So I don't remember though. In 1989, this movie wasn't really for children. Nothing you, was for. I took you all the time for movies not for children. And I don't think I liked it that much. Maybe like I was, love Dirty Dancing, but I don't care because Patrick Swayze was my jam. And side note, if we have this video, we should somehow get it. But at Craig's Bar Mitzvah, what did I say to the Bar Mitzvah dancers? That you wanted, oh, you were very disappointed that Patrick Swayze wasn't there or they I, were like, not I, good looking? The, 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 the MC was like, who do you want to dance with? And I was like, Patrick Swayze. But he like, did. But unfortunately, he did not appear. She didn't, got, she didn't get that money. She didn't get that money to pay for Patrick Swayze. So, so Jake Gyllenhaal. Is right. Gonna, is in this movie. Oh, right, right, right. I was and so trailer, excited. The trailer dropped. Look good. Yeah, yeah. And I it looks amazing. It. I did see it. Now this is what this is interesting. So Doug Lyman is the the director of this film. It's his movie. And um, Amazon acquired MGM Studios. Okay. Right. So when Amazon acquires MGM Studios, they say we're going to promise to put out at least you know X a amount. Dozen a, yeah, X movies amount in the of movies. Theater. Right. And Roadhouse is not one of them. So and Doug Lyman is now boycotting the premiere of the movie at South by Southwest. And he's furious because it maybe now it can't be, you know, up for awards. He thinks that people are, are going to see it. If Wait, it's, so it's the, just going to go to streaming. It's not going to the theaters. So it's going to go straight to, let's say, to Amazon. Yeah, and he's pissed. So I just want to put this on Horizon. I will definitely be watching it. And Oh, so will I. You will be. So we'll, we'll be covering that. And I feel bad. I feel like this... This has something to say about how the movie business is changing, how it's just like not going to the theaters. Going right to the streamers. I know. And it's not getting the same, you know, he's like, people aren't going to see Jake Gyllenhaal's performance. Like it should be seen in the theaters. But also how angry would Martin Scorsese be if he knew that I watched Close of the Flower Moon on my iPhone? (laughs) I'm sure he'd be pissed. (laughs) But it held up, man. I got real close. Okay. I got real close. That's good. That's good. Um, So I know you loved Fool Me Once. Netflix has ordered two more limited series based on novels by Harlan Oh, oh no yep. kidding. Yep. Wow. Do you have you read his books? Like if I told you the I, titles, Missing You and Runaway will also be I haven't I, on uh, I, my Netflix? friend my friend Richard. She um, whispered the last name. Just say your source. My source, I'll say Richard, <laughs> who's in Florida. Uh just who's to give him a shout Florida. out. Uh he you better reads, be listening. Uh well, I don't know. You know, people my age, I have found out for the past two weeks. Are, none of them have ever heard a podcast. That's so sad. Well, it is. So apparently, podcasts for people of a certain age, they're not really interested. They can't, they, they all go, can I watch it? That's the first That's thing they all say. That's weird because you think they somebody have, your age who grew up on radio. <laughs> no, well, geez, but we're not that old. There were TVs that were invented. I know, but like, you think your, your age people would listen to it in the car. And, uh, oh, you know what? They don't know how to connect it in the car. They, they don't know how to use Bluetooth. They anything. I have talked three friends or tried to talk three friends this week into oh, finding podcasts. Goodness. And it was very sad. Oh, my goodness. Mom, I think it's time we move on to <laughs> Circumcised Gems. And this week... It is time to give an ode to Dance Life on Amazon Prime. Oh, that was the, the one that was done in Australia. Australia. Dance was, Life, I feel like, is this underrated show. What channel is it on? It's not a channel. Oh, a stream. <laughs> and there we what go. Stream, what streaming Amazon service? Amazon Prime. Thank you. Anybody who enjoys full-on dancing, anybody who enjoys So You Think You Could Dance, which Marnie and I love. I don't, I'm not really into the singing. Um, like The Voice. Show. Yeah, yeah. I mean, America's I watch them talent, occasionally, American but it's not, what, really do anymore. it's not what I, I put anything dancing except Dancing with the Stars. That I can't tolerate. This show was, is about an Australian dance company, and it was like, 
So moving. It's actually about a school that they've been going there for a long, long time. It's not that just that year. They're graduating. Oh, I know. That it's year. basically like their college, right? right? So it's I like. I think it's more than. I think they've been going for many, many years. This show but was, was really well good. done. Like, if there was a Dance Life US, if there was a Dance Life America, I would say, put me in the field. Get me in. I want to work it on the show. It was really enjoyable. And it's again, so anybody who likes dance enjoyable. would love it. Like yeah. the choreography. I love Cassie, the choreographer. She's gorgeous. And like she hits and she's just like the kids, these these young these young 18 to 20 year olds just like look up to her and like the dancing, the They're lines, so the technical. They're good. so good. Oh my God. They're so good. And there's only five episodes. The music is great. New York Times listed it as a top show to watch in 2024. Oh, that, oh good for them. I really feel like this is an underrated show that more people want to watch. Now you said it's also, I, I can't find it on TikTok. You, you sent me the- No, mom. I what? sent you the Instagram. Oh. I sent Felicia the Instagram page of Dance Life. I'm well, sure I, all I, these dancers are on the gram. I'm sure they're on TikTok. Okay. I'll watch them all day. And I'm, I, I hope there'll be a season two. Dance Life, I'm putting this out there. Give us a season two, whether it's in Australia. Or, take Cassie on the road. Let's take her to America. Really like, I want to follow her. I want to follow the choreographer. Okay. I love the dancers. I just thought this show was so good. So good. What's something else you watched this week? Oh, well- I started watching True Detective. Oh, wow. yes. With, with... We know. I discussed True Detective last week, and I told you that I you'd know, like it. But uh, I thought she was so fabulous. Jodie Foster. Jodie Foster. I'm sorry. So we saw so episode fabulous. two, and we both watched it. Yes, we both watched it. I'm assuming episode three will... And it's on Max. It's on Max. And I think right. episode three drops Sunday night, but I, I'm not I 100% think it's a Sunday. Sore. But it was so good, and she is so She's good, good in it. Now... Hold on, a little spoiler. I thought she was going to be a lesbian in the show. Well, apparently she's not, especially when they show her having sex with, I, I don't even know, who was he? Oh, he, no, one of the de- old detectives or something? He was in oh, one of my favorite shows, The Leftovers, as the priest. Oh. And only me would know that because I know everything. Yeah, but the, oh, And by the way, the only other actress I um, knew who she was, was Fiona Shaw. Who was, I think, in Killing Eve. The Maybe. old woman? Yes. What the is, one, how do you know her? Do you I know think her she's from? British, first yes. of all. Yes, okay. So I have seen her on a lot of um, PBS shows. Probably. Oh, absolutely. Was she like in Downton Abbey? I, no, 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 no. Well, you know, she's been in a lot of stuff. And the minute I saw her, I went, oh, that's Fiona Shaw. She's great. She's, she's the one like that discovered the body. Yes, 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 yes. And um, just for heads up, Matthew McConaughey, Woody Harrelson, and Jodie Foster are billed as executive Produces, Can I just give a round of applause to Felicia for doing her research? Which is so unusual for I me. I think you're really getting into this the, the pod. I'm tr- so and, oh, I, and, oh, I didn't know thing. Matthew and Woody were, were producers on and it. And Billie Eilish was- It's a theme song. Which I don't know how I fell in love with Billie Eilish. I actually listened to her music. So that's a concert you said would tell me, let's go. I don't know if it, if it would- I mean, I love her and her brother- but I don't know. Did you know. see that documentary? Because that's a I did. great Yes, I did. Absolutely. It was terrific. However, I don't know if she's going to put the show on that I got. I got so used to this fabulous show. With, Billy's not got, she's no, not dancing and no, like she's not. going up on, she's on not. the ceiling. So her, she, as much as I like her, I don't, it might be hard, you know, it might not be as So pink fabulous. really, pink, look, pink and all right, queen. We're, we're really going away. everywhere yeah, right now. Yeah, we're So all you're, you're into True Detective. Yes. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. I am she's in. in. I am. And just, I want to give, one little word about another show that I watched that's on Prime. It's called Hollywood House Lift with Jeff Lewis oh, of Bravo. Oh, she's bringing it back to the Bravo. I know, which I can't help. He used to be on a show called Flipping Out, again on Bravo, and he was insane. However, I really somehow like him. He's and I've always and, liked him. And I listen to him on Sirius Radio. He's got like a, an hour spot. All his people, the whole thing. I really enjoy it because he's crazy. That's a great segue to my the, my um, show that I watched this week. I had to finish the Salt Lake City reunion. And I got to tell you something. It delivered. It really effing delivered. Is that right. is that okay? The effing versus the fuck? <laughs> yes, Marnie. <laughs> I just want to say, Monica the Troll brought out a burn book a la Mean Girls. Okay? You know what Mean Girls? The oh, mean, she did brought she out a burn. really? She's so oh, messed God. up. And she said that- I can't the, believe she had the time for that. She said that casting knew that she had this burn book. 
about all these women. And Andy Cohen looked her in the eye and was like, we would have never casted you if we knew you had that burn book. Like, she's, so there's nobody, not. so nobody really and knew. She's, like, she's lying. She's like, nope, they knew. So now my question is, and I'm going to ask our special guest next week. That's a special guest, and I'll fill everybody in about that. But I'm wondering if that's why she wasn't asked back to do next season, because she was not asked back. She needs a breather. She needs a timeout. They're giving her a timeout. They're giving it her a timeout. Her no, it, Even though the ratings her, are probably through the roof, and it was the best they, season ever. Uh, they are giving her a timeout. But like so messed up like that they gave, she had this burn book. And Dur- they gave Dorinda a timeout. A pause. A pause. Okay. Felicia knows. Yes. Felicia, do you want to get into your... Windy City segment. Is there anything you want to say about the um, Chicago's this week? You know what? I like I, I I always like the premieres of because they kind of bring in maybe they get rid of the old actors, they bring in a new one. So therefore, this was the second week that all the Chicago's were on and all the Laura and Orders were on. The, you know, the sec, second season, a second um, week. I. Didn't love them. Oh, tell me why. Oh. This is good. This is this because is solid information. I, because it's like after a while, I start getting bored. Oh, but you're still in it. You're I, not going to give I, up I, on I, it. I, will, I always watch it. Okay, I have it taped. Okay, and then I start watching it, and I go, eh, I'm not. I'm not. I can't even follow. Follow. I mean, it gets boring. So did you shut it off? No. Did you fall asleep? No, I did not fall asleep. Okay. Maybe I just didn't pay attention and started looking at my phone, at my TikTok. Wow. So but I keep, is, so I keep everything on. Right. So it's your background. Yes. Now, I, when I have a background situation, for me, it's like when I'm doing a slow binge. And what I call a slow binge is like I'm slow binging Southern Charm. You've got nine seasons. It's a slow binge. That, to me, I could put in the background because I'm, if I miss something, it'll, I'll see it in the recap. I'll see it in the previews. Do you pay attention? Like, what if you miss something? Do you ever rewind? No. No, I do not because it's kind of like pat. You know, it's like obvious. Right, I, right. I, it is. But you're not giving up on your Chicago. Oh no! Oh no! Okay. I'm waiting to see who they kill off in the next few weeks because they they're are killing somebody off. Oh, that I'm sure they will because they're. St- I see some new faces, and in my mind, I'm thinking, all right, they're introducing new faces, which means you introduce one new one, one old one is 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 gotten rid of. It might take a oh, week or two. A new, a new, a new, a new a actor, new, yes. a new character comes on. They're going to yes. kill somebody off. Yes, yes. A la soap opera. Well, kind of. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're all the same. Um, I think it's time. <laughs> I have an update for you. You're going to be. You're going to be. This is going to be very exciting for you about your Korea and your Korea peeps. Okay. <laughs> Do you have a Korean minute today? Do I have? Yeah. I don't know if I have a full minute. Well, let me tell you something. Okay. I got, I have a source who's got peeps in Korea. And you know the Korean actor Lee Sun Kun? I don't know if I'm saying his name right. Well, that's the problem. I can't remember. He's so, he's the person who committed suicide. Yeah. I got deets on what happened. Oh, okay. Now, maybe you knew this, but you didn't remember it. Maybe you didn't deep dive. So he was with a hooker doing drugs. With a hooker, and the but hooker the- blackmailed him, okay? So Lee had children, the hooker had children, she blackmails him, it goes to court, and that's when he committed suicide. But side note, my source told me, if a Korean is caught smoking weed, even in America, they'll be prosecuted in Korea. Yeah, they're really- And I'm not talking about like, you know, heroin, a- marijuana. Yeah, right. They're really- Strict. And my source was very um, pleased how much you care about the Koreans. Oh, So shout out. And we have another source of oh. Korean gentlemen who my brother knows. Oh, and wait. My bro- Should this be part of the Korean Minute? Well, probably. Can we make this part of the Korean Minute? Sure. All right. Stand by. This is really good. Stand by. And timer is on. So my brother knows a bunch of friends who are Korean and- my brother made sure when they came over and visited. Side note, Uncle Barry, and yes, my father's name was Barry, and she Qu- married a man named Barry. Quinkadink. Barry, Uncle Barry. Quinkadink. Uncle Barry housed Koreans. Well, in the separate room, and he, they were college students at the time, or just coming into the country. And my brother, who's terrific, became really good friends. Now they're in like probably in their 40s or whatever. So they come over and just visit. My brother, I guess, told them about me getting into the Korean dramas, and he made sure 
to put them on the phone with me. And I was so excited that they spoke to me. And they said, anytime I come to California, they'd be more than happy to come and just schmooze with me. And I can just discuss everything Korean, which would make me so happy. I think that was a solid Korean minute. So you now have a source from Korea. Two sources, yours and right, my yours uncle's. And, mine, okay. and my brother's. And your, what, your uncle, my no, uncle's. my brother. Your wow. uncle, Marnie's uncle, my brother. So you didn't watch anything Korean. I mean, you did, well, but like did. nothing to report. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> so uh, much to report. Do I, I need mean, another Korean minute on the clock? N- uh, okay. Oh my God. Well, or a half, <laughs> oh, wait, 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 half a minute, 30 seconds. 30 seconds uh, yeah. on the clock, stand by, stand by, and 30 seconds. Okay, so what I'm watching on my app, which is a Korean, which is, I'm sorry, not Korean, it's an Asian app, um, called a story called The Story of Park's Marriage Contract, which I finished this morning. I know, I was obsessed with finishing it. And there were a few other things coming out. They you know, Like, one is ending on Saturday, then they put a new one on, whether it's Netflix or whatever, and they only drop to a weekend so you have to come back or you have to wait till the whole thing's been aired and then you come back and binge for me sorry mom go ahead it's fine <laughs> it's okay. fine fine it's fine should we continue next week no, no. is there oh, anything maybe. else you really want to say not um, about that no <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry <laughs> I'm done is there anything else that you watch this week that we have to discuss or can we go into our next uh, I tried watching Traders. Really? Yeah, but by the way, a few of my friends have mm. watched Traders. They love it. Traders is the show on Peacock with right. all the reality people. I don't know how Karen Karen watched it. I think it was Karen who watched it. She loved it. Yes, your friend Karen. And she also watched the one about the prison, bri- the the prison brides. brides. Karen she, is a fan. Karen is a fan. And then I met another girl who also watched it. Prison when I brides? Say, I say girl. I mean woman. I'm sorry. <laughs> Apparently, or I do still you think mean, I'm- Do you mean grandma? <laughs> Uh, apparently, <laughs> I still think everybody's 20. I cannot I know, accept I'm 16. the fact. Okay. I, right. So wait, so you have peeps watching Traders and you have people watching Prison And they Brides. loved it. I don't seem to get Traders. I know it's very similar to Survivor. No, I really I don't say it's so much I don't Survivor. Understand. I don't, it's like I, a board game. I, okay. But Traders has this idea of like you get assigned that you're going to kill somebody off. But like- when you say you tried to watch Traders, did you start at episode one? Yes, I did start at episode one. I mean, I kind of liked the people. Believe it or not, I liked, oh God, the one from uh, Housewives of- Phaedra's amazing. Phaedra is Atlanta. She's fabulous. amazing. Fabulous. She's amazing. I, I have to tell you, she is, ter- she's to me is the best. She's amazing. Yeah, she's great. Maybe you need to give Traders a second try. I know, but I need to understand how- because they're all doing things to like win. It, it, it's interesting. It, it, it's a mix of all the challenges, all the reality shows. And I just think I too didn't like. I didn't watch season one, so I didn't get it at first. But I had to give it like a few episodes. All and now right, I'm I guess in. I'm going to have to. Um, it is time for uncircumcised gems. Felicia looked at me like I don't know what we're going to talk about, but I do. This is our big uncircumcised gem moment. We're dropping a big spoiler. One more time. American Nightmare. Oh. American Nightmare, uh, the no. number one show on Netflix. I don't believe- Stop pounding I, your- I'm sorry. You're, you're ruining my sound. I'm sorry. I, I don't believe when, when, when Netflix or Prime, they go number one, number one. I don't know. I think they're making that up. Why would they make that because up? Because I did not- I mean, I watched the show because you made, I made me watch her. the I show. I made her watch the show. And luckily, it was only three episodes. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the couple got screwed. Wait, that was a big spoiler. That's fine. I'm going to give everyone the heads up. Side note, Felicia doesn't do true crime. Why don't you do true crime? Well, most of them get me very nervous. I mean, I don't like seeing children kidnapped and yeah. hurt. And, and, but and I gave Felicia a warning. I was like, no one dies no one on this. Dies and it's only some, three episodes. Yeah, when somebody's died or they can't be found, it gets me so upset. So I, I'd rather not watch it. I don't like being stressed when I'm watching. Were you stressed? No, no, not on this one. Not I at all. I thought it was, A, so well done. I thought the couple was so classy. Like usually these true crime shows, I know it's white. like trash. Yes, People I agree. People are so not trashy. I agree. They're attractive, right? They were and cool I love gigs. that they show them married at the end with two you, children. Oh my God. I gave I, a book spoiler. I'm sorry. Oh my God. We're going to have to put a, oh shit. My husband just looked at me like I did not know that. I'm only on episode two. He just yelled, I'm only on episode two. And <laughs> Felicia is crying inside. So I said spoiler. And by the way, I just want to say this for the record. I told my husband to watch this. My mom is dying right now. Felicia, I need, wait, wait. 
<laughs> She's covering her mouth. She didn't drop a bad word, but talk to the bank. Tell us what you're saying. Tell us. Tell us. I feel bad that Casey's only on episode two. <laughs> she, I'm so I said sorry. Spoiler. I didn't think you would sorry. literally really spoil it. I, I, I'm sorry, Casey. She ruined it for uh, all, all of America. Still, yeah, I, You'll still watch it, Casey. All of America. Can I really? just say one thing? I told Casey all week to watch this show. It's his fault he didn't finish. <laughs> I told my followers, watch the show before I discuss it on the pod because I'm going to be discussing it. I mean, truthfully, the first two episodes, I was like, all right, where are we going? What are we going to discover? You know me. I like to but like, like, did fast you, forward. Quick, 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 quick. Did you think like- I love the, the police, the woman police detective. She was a badass. She but was But did you ever think best. like, oh, he did do it? No. And did you ever think like she's- No, no, I yeah. didn't. Yeah. It, I mean, she. I, I really did. From a production standpoint, I thought these. We call it in the in production world recre. Do you know what that means? No, the recre. Oh, the recreation. The recreation. Okay. I thought yeah, they it were was pretty so, good. I thought they were so well yeah, done. Yeah, they were tight shots, were. close ups. Yeah, they didn't do like weird actors where you see like a stupid face. Like I just thought it was. I just thought this was so well done. Well, considering they both the couple was constantly interviewed, and I assumed. If they wouldn't be interviewed, if there was a bad outlook, if yeah, there was a, yeah, a bad outcome, yeah, right? Like, if, I mean, you wouldn't want to put yourself out there if you screwed up. They were, they were very good, and it's only three episodes, so yeah, it's not, it's not a, a big it's deal. Not a, it's not a big commitment. It's not a big commitment. So those were my uncircumcised gems, and I'm really proud of you for watching and doing the homework. But you didn't do poor things. Will you do poor no, things well, this poor week? Poor things. I have to be at your house to watch it. But will you do it then? Here, sure. Here. We got to do it at some point before the Oscars. Okay. You have to, When Mom. are the Oscars? March 10th. Oh, I have to. Okay. You have time. All right. You okay. have time. So right. it's, it's the time to actually discuss by Felicia what we're going to be doing over the week. Now, I've got some, I've got some updates. Feud on FX, Capote versus the Swans. Oh, Wednesday. yes. I'm hearing really good things about that. What, who are you hearing good I'm things hearing, from? I'm hearing just, you know, I hear Guess who's there. in it. Guess who's in it. This is huge. Callista Flockhart. Look, Calista Flockhart. Wow. What was the last I, time Calista Flockhart was I in anything besides her the in waiting a, room at the, right, at, at, at Marina at the Del Rey? Dark. I have not seen her in a really long Molly time. Molly Ringwald, Demi Moore, Chloe Savini, Diane Lane, and Naomi Watts. I'm going to wow. watch it just for those women. And it's on FX? It's on FX, which you could watch it on Hulu, but since you still pay for cable, you could watch it on your cable. No, I'll watch it on Hulu. I'd rather Why watch it on Hulu cable? because then it's, it'll go straight through. If I, sure, well, so probably no commercials. Go straight through on FX also. How many episodes are there, do you I know? I don't know. Okay. But Capote, now, do you know the story of Truman Capote? Do you know like who he is? Yes, I know who he is. So, so who is he besides well, Philip he Seymour a, Hoffman played him in a movie no, called he Capote? He was a writer uh, uh, right. from, from, from the South. I know that. I mean, from- Did you see Philip Seymour Hoffman in Capote? I probably did, but it's been, it was a long time yeah, ago. I would actually do a watch of that because I love And him. he spoke like a really bad, like he spoke like this. Do you know, uh, uh, I thought, and forgive me, like I, Capote versus the Swans, I thought I the Swans- I don't know who the Swans are. The Swans were like a group of women. Oh. And Ryan Murphy calls them the original housewives. I thought it was like a family, but no, it's a group of women. Well, you know what, you know who I, I thought of this, the Swans of- Garrett Swan, the Swans of Santa Barbara. Right. Giving a shout out to our friend Garrett. Right. But obviously it wasn't. So about we're gonna that. I think we should watch that foul. Yeah. Let's okay. let's get on that. All right. Another what a, sh- what a cast. What a cast. Wow. I mean, the fact that Calissa Flockhart is in this show. But I know they're all duded up in wigs and who makeup. Cares? And it's, no, no, that's fine. But it's really hard to recognize them. I found when they showed the trailer or, you know, episodes of trailers. I kept thinking, I know they're like famous people, but I could not. Oh, you couldn't know who they were, right? Because the makeup and the hair. Molly Ringwald, but I I didn't recognize. I did not recognize Molly. I did not recognize Riverdale for like a hot. I didn't recognize any of them. All right, I have another show that I'm going to be watching. I but I already watched the first two episodes without my husband, and he's also upset about that because it's about World War II. Masters of the Air. Oh, on, on Apple. On Apple. I, oh, it's out already. The it's duo already? behind Band of Brothers and Saving Private Ryan. Oh, cause, yeah, Tom I, Hanks I, and Steven Spielberg. I'm, I'm, yes. I, and I did it's about say, the Air Force bomber pilots. Right. And in I World did War say II. to myself, I wanted to see that. And it's I based on a book. Oh, I, I'm glad it's okay. So it's out. I think everyone can relate to the fact that, like, it's hard for you and your partner to find a show to watch together, but like one of you has more time than the other one or like one of you is playing Fortnite in the basement and doesn't have time to watch the shows that you're watching. So I had to jump ahead. I just had to jump ahead for my work. Now, wait, guess, they, who's, wait, guess who's... Wait, they, wait, I, I know. wait, wait, they wait. They two episodes. Oh, okay. Two once episodes. a week now. Yes. And I know the person, one of them in it, and I don't remember his name. I'm sorry. Is What's, he from Saltburn? <laughs> no. Barry Kogan from Saltburn. 
is Ed Masters. Oh, now I can see what he looks like. Like, are you out of your no, mind? No, Did no, you? No. Were you only focused on the penis? No, no, no. But I, I'm, I'm, I want to get to see what he looks like. Not in that role. I, I gotta I, tell he's you, he's gotta look different. He looks the same. Really? But the, he's such a good actor. He is that a good actor. I wasn't watching Masters of the Air and thinking only about his penis. I was thinking about everyone's penis. Okay, because you got Austin Butler. Austin Butler. That's- who, by the way. Cannot shake this Elvis dialogue. Yes, there was this, a whole thing. They're trying to get a. They it's would, not yeah, good. I know. I, th- honestly, good. you can't get rid of it. Why is, did you cast him then? If he is, still sounds is he like from, Elvis, is he from the South? That he well, has that accent? Honestly, he's probably from London. No, I'm just kidding. I have no idea. No, I don't think. I don't think. But, he's but here's the thing: the character that he plays in Masters of the Air is from like Wisconsin, and he still sounds like this. I'm like I'm ready for him to break out like Jailhouse Rock. I just. I was a little uncomfortable that he still sounded a little like Elvis, but he's very handsome. I was about to say, but it's so nice to he's look at so his face. He's so very handsome. And then there's other guy in it, Callum Turner, who's really cute. Okay. So. I'll have to get on that. Yeah. I didn't know it was released yet. Okay. That's good to know. Drop. Drop. All right. I'm guess sorry. what also comes out this week? There's so much happening. Vanderpump Rules comes back. Felicia just rolled her eyes at me. Mom, communicate. I used to watch it. I get. Well, you know I watched it when they first all started. It. Okay. And I cannot watch these people who've been in it since I guess maybe they were 30. Oh, and now they've got to be in their mid 40s, mm-hmm. maybe, I think. I'm like so tired of them fighting back and forth. Are they really that way? Are they really fighting or are they doing it just for well, the show? Well, I'm sure a lot of it is for the cameras. I can't wait. I'm disappointed Raquel is not going to be on it. And you know, Raquel is the one who. Screwed around with Sandoval. Yeah. But I also got to say, Stasi, you know Stasi. Yes, 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 yes. She was offered to be in that new spinoff with Jax and Brittany, The Valley, and she turned it down. She turned it down. And do you know why? No. She said, because I'm not friends with these people. All right, she, good thought. She told right. Jeff Lewis, I'm not friends with these people. All right. He interviewed her. And Jeff Lewis was like, but you've become friends with and these people. She's like, it's not real. So, I'm not friends so with these the people. Only, so the funny thing is, a lot of them are now getting divorced, they've had children. It seems like Jax, who I thought would for sure get divorced after a minute and a half. They're still married. They're still married. And now they're and on they, a spinoff. Right. And they're on a spinoff, which you God know, bless There's Jax. something to say, like, if you're on a reality show, so I know for everybody that's told me that, oh, I should have a reality show and you should make a TV show about me. That's the, I hate when people say that to me. You don't want to be on a reality show because if you're on a reality show, that's it. Your life, that's it. When that reality show's done, when there's a finale- you can't get a real job. If you're on the Jersey Shore, if you're on the Housewives, if you're on the, whatever you're on, a competition show, do you notice why they, there's people that do the challenge, there's people that, why aren't they on the traders? Because that's their income. It's that's their why income, they got to put bread, but, bread on the but table. But they all have, sec- not all, the smart ones are pushing Sure, they're branding product. themselves. Oh, right, they're branding because they themselves. Know. Right, they know. I just want people to know, like having a reality show is not all that it's cracked up to be. Right. Because that's their life. Like, Jax knows he can't make an income on Cameo. Right. He can't make an income on Cameo. Right. Um, no. Right. I also want to try to watch, there's a new movie coming out this week called Junction that Brian Greenberg wrote and directed. And I'm a fan of Brian Greenberg because he was in One Tree Hill, and it's about the opioid crisis, and I love anything in all opi- <laughs> opioid stories. He was also in that movie with Mel Streep. What, what is about? this going to be? Is it a movie movie? It's on- a movie. It's oh, a movie. It's like I didn't on even demand. See, I didn't even see the trailer. I've been seeing a lot of press about oh, it. And okay. Jamie Chung, his wife, is in it. And Sophia Bush. Big fan of it. Oh, Hill. right, right. Um, so we've got a lot to do this week. And next Saturday Night Live, not tonight, next weekend is your girl from the bear. Oi. Oi. I can never say her name. Oh, S- Sandra Oi. Mom, no, no, she ain't no. in the bear. Sandra Oya's oh, not no. in the oh, bear. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, oh, I, I didn't hear you say that. Oya I, God, I just fucking messed up her name. But Sandra Oy. No. Is that the bear? Is it Oy or O? Mom. <laughs> and she's and she's doing it with Jennifer Lopez. Wild. But bigger news is we have a special guest that we will be on next week to talk all Bravo, to discuss traders. She's a Bravo expert. Because She's a big deal. I'm not saying why. I'm All not right. dropping who okay. it is, Mom. Okay. okay. But I think you're a fan. I am. You are. I she, like her very much. She might be fangirling. So stay tuned and share, share, share. And like and follow, subscribe. Is there anything you want to say to your the girls in Plainview? Girls, I know you you, you you don't have the time or the patience to listen. And I keep telling you, listen. Why don't they the, get the time? I don't, they don't, they, I, I, don't I, I, I told some of my friends, you know, when, when you're getting ready in the morning, yes. just play it. And you don't have to watch it. You can do what you have to do. 
you can listen in the car, you know, you're listen bored. Listen while you're putting listen, on your skincare what, routine. Whatever. And hopefully that I will work. I love that, mom. But I the few that. girls that have seen it that I've There's told, no see, heard. I'm sorry. See? That's right. the problem because I keep wait, falling wait, my, to see. Well, maybe we'll start videoing us, like putting no, up a camera. No, no. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. That's what the TikTok needs. It needs video. Obviously, it needs video. <laughs> I need hair and makeup then. <laughs> bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia.